How are you, folks? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06. So, uh, also check out that that artwork for that uh, sh uh, that Chevrolet logo. That's a pretty cool truck <laughs> or truck car. Anyways, welcome back to NASCAR 06. Uh, I just qualified for Darlington. Um, we didn't miss anything because there was we already had the Saturday Cup race locked in in terms of who won. Anyways, uh, we qualified second, so let's go ahead and hop down to it. Welcome to Darlington, South Carolina, for today's running of the Diamond Hill Plywood Company 200. EA Sports is proud to bring you all the action from the track that is too tough to tame, as Darlington Raceway plays host to the NASCAR Bush Series. There is no argument that a win at Darlington can help define a young driver's career, and these Bush drivers know it. It's a perfect day for racing. Bush Series action from Darlington is coming up next. Alrighty, folks, so this is our first ever race at this track, Darlington, South Carolina, in this playthrough. This is going to be a lot of fun. Here we go. So first things first, get to the inside and hold the inside as much as possible because this is probably about to be a doozy. So just take care of the car. It's going to be very, very tight, nip and tuck racing all night long. Just take care of the car. Don't destroy it. Look, it is so easy to wreck here at Darlington, so just, just find your rhythm. Again, this is our first time racing here on NASCAR 06 in this playthrough. So, uh, <laughs> in the last time I've raced here on NASCAR 06 in real life, probably six years at least. Not, not at least, but it should be around five or six years. So, it, it, it's been um, some time. Now, I don't know if we can run that white line or not down there. In real life, you can, and you won't spin out, but you know how NASCAR 06 is with those white lines... Uh, with the apron transitions, so in, in qualifying we were able to run it, but I, I just something tells me to just be gingerly about it, you know, don't don't poke the bear, so to speak. And uh, the number 18 car, J.J. Yaley, really turning his career around right now, and potentially could be a favorite for the Bush Championship. He has ran very consistent. I'm curious, guys, could he be a threat for the championship? Try to see if we can get around the current champion, Shane Mill. And Martin Trix Jr., you know, he's got cup aspirations to go for. He's not worried about no championship here in the Bush Series, but he's trying to get Chance 2 Motorsports a good win tonight at Donington. We're not falling off the pace too much, but tire wear, right? How is that going to shake um, everything up here at Darlington? Oh, boy. Fuel already at half. So lap six is the unofficial halfway point. So I definitely want to pit at least one more lap. Our teammate is already in. Thank you, Boyer, so much for not hitting me in the right rear. That could have been bad. Or left rear. Oh, no, no, no! And there goes our tire wear. Yeah. So far, so good. Massive damage to the car. Yeah. that It looks horrible, but I'm trying to save the car the entire time. You can go back and watch it. All it takes is just one little uh, and the whole joint's gone. So now I'm thinking we're going to potentially have to run one to two more extra laps. Do I really think I can hold on, that, hold on to that car like that? No. But we're going to have to pit nonetheless. I think we're going to have to make some massive adjustments here. Uh, we're going to have to risk it, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to tighten the car up for sure. If I repair it, we're going to probably lose 15 spots. So, the way I look at it is if we're the top 10, if we could just survive and get through Darlington, we might come over to top 15, you know? That's a lot better than us restarting 20th and having a slow car and finishing 25th. I'm playing the net average here. Um, we were running really good. Massive damage to the car. Ugh. It's just really unfortunate. But it, it broke loose, man. It broke loose. And I tried to save it, and the way it is in this game, when you try to save it, <laughs> it's on for a ride, yo. My team. Mm, such a horrible pit stop. 18.7. That was the average time with damage repair, and we didn't even repair the damage. That's how horrible the pit crews are in this game sometimes. Driver made a mistake, though, right? So, can't put too much blame on him. Anyways... It's not a horrible restart position, but yeah, we got some rivals to deal with here, or at least one rival. Let's see if we can try to share a draft him, cool him off enough to not hit me, but yeah, 
we're going to lose a lot of side force. The whole right side of this car has just been peeled back like a, like a tin can. But it might make the car a little bit tighter. I don't know. It's either going to make the car tighter or it's going to make it looser. If it's tighter, then that's good. That's going to help us uh, be able to navigate this racetrack. But nonetheless, let's see if we can try to survive in advance. J.J. Yaley, once again, dominating tonight at Donington. Car still has some speed in it, but it's certainly not race winning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, it's it's pulling away from 10th, surprisingly. I mean, the whole right side of this car is just, you know, it is just destroyed. I mean, it, it's ready for whatever a saw's on, just cut it up and auctioned off the pieces for charity. That's pretty much what this, half of this car is ready to go for. Lap 8 out of 11 here. Yaley still out front. And uh, Tony Reigns right behind us trying to hound us for the ninth position. It's just we're, we're decent, but we're not enough to go forward. I just can't... I can't get closer to him, man. I can't get closer to him. Inside looking. Inside. Clear. Clear. Inside. Clear. I have to remind myself sometimes not to go down there because this 33 car is going to ride our butt the entire freaking lap because why not? Oof. Some tight racing at Darlington. I just want a top 10 and get out of Dodge, right? Please don't dive bomb. He has tried everything he can to get underneath me here. I mean, you, you got to give him credit how hard the AI will race you. I, I will say that. They are very aggressive. But man, if if we make one wrong block, we're going to get wrecked. So that that's the, that's the risk versus reward. And if there was only one car behind me, then I don't mind letting that car go. But since Truex is, is starting to make a run, I really don't want to give up that spot. Inside, inside, looking, inside. Hold your lane, hold your lane. Oh, boy. Lift. Lift. Thank you. White flag here at Darlington. Tires are wearing. We didn't make a, a spring adjustment, so if, if, we, if, if I didn't forget to do that, um, the car would have had a little bit better tire wear, probably. J.J. Yaley, I believe, is going to go flag to flag tonight and win... The Darlington Bush race. And for our first run ever at Darlington, a top 10 with a beat up race car. I gotta give this team some credit. They built a great piece. And we held off Tony Reigns there. Uh, great, great run for the team. And hey, you know, it's still a good points night. We were the only Ford in the whole top 10. Everybody else was Chevrolets. I mean, it was a Chevrolet fan fest today. Uh, yeah, Yaley goes wire to wire. And uh, ninth place for us. Great run. I think our teammate got screwed by the caution, to tell you the truth. Yeah. He got he got screwed by the caution, unfortunately. So, you know what? I've been on that side of the fence. It sucks, trust me. But what can you do, right? Anyways, a great top ten run. We get some prestige points. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna continue to move up in the points as well. That was actually a really good run for us. To, to be honest with you, I mean, it looks really bad. You know, it's like lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig, but guess what? We had a good run. Alrighty, folks, let's see what this is. Oh, of course, it's a darn showdown. Well, rip me. No, we're not doing a showdown. It, it's actually really cool, though. They picked Ryan Newman to do the New York showdown. If you go back to Chase of the Cup 2005, it was Newman that does the showdown, uh, the prologue at the start of the race. So we're going to ignore that. Because we don't we don't do showdowns in this game, uh, we keep it realistic. You never see things like that in real life. So, anyways, the next race is gonna be at whatever racetrack this is, <laughs> Richmond. We'll be making our Bush debut there. We have not run a Bush car, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, here's your updated standings: 318 back, but we're top 10 in the points. Uh, of course, you know Kyle Bush and JJ Yaley finishing top three is not gonna really help. But I mean, realistically, 318. If we just have, I don't know, top 10, top 5 run, there's three cars right here under a blanket that we could easily catch, right? So, my point is, is that there's a lot of racing left. I mean, the truck series schedule is 25 races, okay? The, the modifieds are 16 races. 
We're only on race 11 out of 35. Just, just, just swallow that pill for a second. 35 races. There is a buttload of races left. So, uh, we, it is a long, long road to hold here in the Bush series. But we need 6,200 more prestige points. So, roughly three more top 10s in the Bush car. And we should be able to get a cup, uh, contract, maybe? At least the test session, I think. Could be mistaken, who knows? <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for all your die cash shopping needs, feel free to check out the promo code down below. You don't have to use it, but if you want to, it does help out the channel. Uh, that's all for now. Diecast Buffet, sign it off.